Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the simple rose with the leaves. And it's actually pretty easy to make. For this model you're going to need two sheets of paper, one for the rose and one for the leaves. And they're both going to have to be square sheets. So uh, on that note, let's begin and I'll show you how to make this. Okay, so we're going to start with the pink square here for the flower. and we're basically going to start by folding our horizontal and vertical creases and also we have to flip it so that the color side is facing down. So fold it so that this side edge aligns with this side edge here. And you really want to get that nicely aligned before you crease it in. Like that. And once it's aligned, give it a nice crease right along the back there and then unfold it and you should now get a shape like this now we're going to turn it to the side and repeat the same thing so fold it so that this side edge aligns with the side edge here and again get it nicely aligned before creasing it in and then just give it a nice crease unfold it once again now we're going to turn it to one of the tips so that it's facing us and we're going to fold it so that this tip meets the center like that and then crease it in and you want to do the same thing on this side so just fold it to the center crease it in repeat the same step on the third flap here and crease it and finally do it on this side once you've creased that in, now we're going to repeat the same steps on each of these tips here so bring that to the center crease it and we're just going to keep going around and doing that just creasing it in nicely each time and just bring that to the center Crease it in. And then do it on this side. And then we're going to repeat the same steps one last time. Crease that in. And once again, we're going to grab the tip, bring it to the center. And now there's going to be a lot of paper, so really crease that in. Just like this. Do it on the other two sides as well. And just fold this final flap in. Okay. So once you've got to the stage, you should now get a small square like this with four flaps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this tip here and we're going to fold it back right to the edge of this part here. But instead of actually going straight to the edge, we're actually going to go a little ahead so that we have it peeking onto the other side like this. So you should get a little triangle on this side. Crease it in. And do the same thing on this side. Now to find out how much you have to pull it, when you do the first one, the second time just align it so that this tip meets the edge of this tip here. That's how you know it's aligned. And then crease it in. Do the same thing on this side, fold it to that tip, then crease it in. And finally do the same thing on this last side here. Fold it and crease it. Then we're going to do the same thing for these flaps here, but we're actually going to fold it back so that it meets this edge here, right where these two flaps intersect, like that, crease it in but allow it to pop out a bit because we're going to do something with that later do the same thing crease it, pop it back up fold it, crease it, pop it and finally do the same thing on this side, just crease it down and then flip it up and then for the inside here just pull it a bit and sort of curl it up like this and just Work your way in there until you can 
get to those as well. And do the same thing, just curl it up. And finally do the same thing for this last flap here. And now you can use a pencil or a paper clip or something thin or even a plier, and that's what I'm going to use, to actually curl up the uh, tips here. And the step is optional, but it will make it look a lot better, so just grab the tip like this, and you want to just curl it up. You might want to do it a few times until you get it looking really nice. And I think the center one is probably the hardest, just because it's the smallest one. And as you go outside to the outer tips, it should be a lot easier, so like this for example, it should just curl really nicely all the way to the end like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and curl all these and I'll be back in a second so after folding out all the flaps you should get a shape like this and as you can see I've curled all the corners here and for the edge here since it was really thick it didn't curl much so I just closed the tip inside that it looked uh, a little rounder than just being pointed. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the leaf. So I've already split the page in four. So to do that, fold this so that this side edge aligns with the side edge here, like this. Give it a really nice crease. Unfold it, turn it sideways, and do the same thing. So fold it in half once again, crease it, and then you should get the four divisions on the page. Now we're going to just tear it along that crease, and you can use scissors if you want. And we're going to tear out this square. So we're just going to tear it right along that crease there. And you should now get a small square like this. So we're going to put that aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it so that this top edge aligns with the side edge here. So that we can get a diagonal crease in there. Fold it like this. and then crease it in. Now unfold it. Now we're going to fold it so that the side corners here fold into the center. So even if you ended up ripping a bit of the corners while tearing it, no worries because it's going to hide in there. And just fold that in. Crease it in. Just like that. And do the same thing on this side. So fold it to the center and you should get a kite base at this point. Now do the same thing with the corners on this side. Just fold that to the center and then fold this side to the center as well. And now what we're going to do is we're basically going to fold it so that this top edge here aligns with the bottom edge down here so we're just going to fold it in half this way. Crease it in and you should end up with a shape like this. Now we're going to fold it so that we get a crease that goes somewhere from around this tip here to about the end of the crease that runs from this edge all the way down here. So when we fold that down we should get a shape like this. And now you can take a bit of glue and put the glue on there and then you can just rest the rows on top. And once you glue it into place, you should get a nice rose with the leaves on there as well. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.